Greetings in Jesus' name. Today is October the 5th. I'd like to pray for you now. Father, I thank you for the people that take the time to hear these videos. I pray, Father, that they are a blessing to them. I pray, Father, that then they in return are a blessing to those that know them, to their employees, to their families, to their employers. Father, help us to be more like you in this world so that we can have more joy and peace and happiness and soundness of mind. Thank you once again for your greatness. In Jesus' name, thank you for your word. Amen. Good morning. It is October the 5th. It is Tuesday. Our proverb in Proverbs 5 and 7. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Proverbs 5 and 7. And good morning once again, October the 5th. It's a Tuesday. Our proverb, Proverbs 5 and 7. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Hearing is imperative to doing. You cannot depart from evil if you are not given to understand the new direction. God is not interested in how much you know. His only interest is in your obedience to that which you do know. Doing, not hearing, is a way to freedom and salvation. To that I've added John 13 and 17. And it's a pretty simple scripture, 13 and 17. It says, if you know these things, happy are you if you do them. I want you to understand something that people grapple with is the fact that God is not out to uh, be a tyrant. You know, when God says that you should do this or you shouldn't do that, or he recommends that you don't do this or you do do that. It's not because he wants to club you. It's not because he is a tyrant. It's because he simply knows best, like a father knows what's better for his son or his daughter. Amen. If you love your children, you're going to keep them from getting hurt. What father who loves their children would not uh, go out and, and, and yank them out of the highway when they're wandering in the middle of the street? You know, what child would not be restricted from touching a hot stove by his mother? People think that God is out to control them because they are adults, because they think they know better, because, hey, I'm an adult. No one's going to tell me what to do. I went through 30 years or, or 15 or 20 years as a child, and I'm not going to be told what to do anymore. Well, I promise you that God has a reason for the things he tells you, and the reason is he wants you to be happy. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. Amen. So I pray that God will help you with the understanding that it's not God who's trying to destroy you or keep you or hold you back. It's God who's trying to help you, to promote you, to make you happy and to make you happy and to make you successful in this life. But once again, God leaves the choice up to you. You can be happy and miserable. It's up to you. It's all about whether you're going to do what he says to do. Well, with this in mind, may God keep you and watch over you and like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Either way, I love you and I thank you for watching this. Amen.